So we've arrived in Bristol. James is doing the driving. And uh, oh, we're going through a tunnel. Never been through here before. And uh, so we're trying to find um, 8 Bit Games, is the first place we're going to go to in Rupert Street. Hopefully, the sat nav is going to do us a good job of getting us there. And uh, so we will see you when we show you some footage of 8 Bit Games in a minute.
So James is just back from 8-Bit Games, it's quite a nice shop. It's yeah, great, really friendly staff in there, yeah. lovely shop, loads of people playing, there's consoles set up at the back that you can grab and play what you want, um, loads of people playing a card game that I don't understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got one pick up and it's a Master System again, it's Air Rescue, boxed, four quid, obviously box, you can see the box. It's got the, ma oh, cart jumps out, that always happens. Got manual, little tatty, but who cares, for four quid. Not bad. Not played it. But looks like fun. Kind of like a souped up chop lifter, it looks like. But yeah, four quid. Can't go wrong with that. So, and my pickup from 8 bit games is this Micro Machines 2. I've uh, been enjoying Micro Machines on the PS4 recently. Just wanted to get this. Uh, to get this um, well, I've never actually had it in my um, game collection, to be honest. So, I was glad to pick this up. Micro Machines 2, and it was £12. Maybe a little bit on the pricey side, but it's pretty mint. It's got the, the tab. Um, oh. In the cartridge, it's one of those ones with the, the JCOM ports, is it or something like that they called it, I think. Uh, a manual, so 12 quid. I was quite happy with that. As James said, the staff in there were very friendly, it was a nice shop, and I'll definitely visit it again.
So we're back in the car after our visit to Pink Planet Games in Gloucester Road in... In very hot Bristol. Bristol, yeah. It's quite warm now. It's quite mild. And uh, so what do you pick up then, James? I've got a whole bunch of Master System games here. We've got US Gold Super Kickoff, $1.99. World Soccer with the tab, $3.99. With the manual and the poster. There we go, I'm gonna get the case back properly. So World Soccer, got so I said that world class leaderboard, 199. Another world class leaderboard, 199 with the tab. Ooh, I think that's from an Argos originally. Really? Champions of Europe without the tab, but fine. 299 and super kickoff, 199. Now I, unfortunately I got most of these, but I bought them for the cases because you can never get enough of these cases because they break. And for peanuts, why not? And oh, top haul here. Actually, before I show you that, let me just grab some PlayStation. These are just cheapos, just because I need to change the cases, even though I've bought one that's cracked. 99p, who wants to be a millionaire? This is the most common PlayStation game, and they had about 20 of these. Um, 99p, just because I need the case. 99p Formula One, early game, bought for the case, and the Doltro himself, Tiger Woods 99. For 99p! Oh, anyway, the top find is this the Sega Mega Stick by Ascuware. Now, this is about half the size of the, of the other one, the, the more common one. It's got little dials to uh, change the speed of your, of your auto fire. Um, yeah, hopefully, it all works all right. It's um, a proper license pad and a great 20 quid. So, yeah, hopefully it's good. That's all my pickups. So my pickups now from uh, Gloucester Road, uh, Pink Planet in Bristol. And uh, first up, we've got this. This was 9.99, the Sega Master System Golden X. Um, it's got a manual in it. As you can see, it's quite, quite good, quite mint, so that's good. Um, I also picked up a game on the PlayStation I've always wanted to play, never played it. It's probably Speedball. rubbish, but I don't know. I love the original Speedball 2 and Speedball on the uh, Amiga, Commodore 64 and stuff. So, um, yeah, so Speedball 2010. Is it 2010? No, 2100. 2100, is it? <laughs> um, and then also this, it's just 99p, because the case is slightly cracked on this. So you're going to just swap the case over to make it nice and minty. And uh, so that's my pickup. So we're just back in the car yet again, and this time we've been down to CEX in Bristol, and we're a bit disappointed. There wasn't a huge amount in there, was there? There's a couple of games you were interested in getting, but... Yeah, uh, this has happened a few times lately. I go to CEX, and I queue up, and I wait over five minutes, and I get pissed off and think, what am I doing with my life, and leave, and that's what just happened. Yeah, there's always big queues in CEX, and you've got a queue to... I mean, there's always people dropping stuff off mainly, isn't it? And you've got a queue yeah. to get served, so why they don't open up another till just for serving people, I don't it's know. It's mad. Yeah. But anyway, that's CEX. So, that's CEX, and basically that's our time in Bristol, isn't it, James? So, yeah, we need to go and find the motorway and head out of here before everyone turns into zombies. With the rush hour traffic. <laughs> Great fun. So anyway, until next time, everyone, keep it retro and we will see you again very soon see you later